call something else. We would be going into the regionals now. Uh, there's another one that's after this, but we'll talk about that when we get to it. Now, of course, they're also going on tonight at the same time. We've got Pirate Baseball against uh, Arlington Heights, and we've got Lady Pirate Softball, and they are taking on Southwest tonight. Both of those games are back in Granbury, and you're thinking, well, why aren't you? Well, this is what it is all about on Granbury TV and on 90.5 FM. When you've got playoffs, you've got us. Now, that's what it's all about right here as Granbury Parks are getting ready to get serious with the steers here from Fort Worth Northside. And my broadcast part just made it to the boot with the wrong direction. I understand. So, you know, we're not going to hold that against you. We'll, just, <laughs> we'll put the headset on and we'll go on from there. So, Sydney Carpenter in the house. How are you, Sydney? What's up? Uh, I'm pretty good. Got, we got a little turned around and went to the <laughs> wrong high school. That's all right. new one. You know, it's kind of strange that Rutherford Bills is a great brand new high school, but they just renovated their old football field. I mean, I guess it's like a space saving kind I, of thing. Yes, yeah, right here mm-hmm. in the middle of. They would. Uh, you guys remember where the football stadium is? Right in the middle of town in Weatherford, and there's no way they could have built a high school, so they built that out. But they saved them a ton of money by well, already having the facilities, so they built a a great new home side, but can't say much for the visitor side, but that's the way it is. It We are underway, and Granbury takes this all the way down to the keeper from Northside. Now, the wind will be a factor in this game, uh, and it is blowing from, let's see, it's blowing from west to east. And we are going, right now, Northside is going due west. Granbury is going to be going east. Northside into the box already, and Thomas Weaver already. Coming up with a big stop, Thomas was huge. And uh, that's not talking about how big he is, because no. he's huge. He is a big boy. But he played huge the other night for the Granbury Pirates. So Northside quickly, just like the other night with uh, with Lake Ridge, uh, they took care of business trying to get down. They put a lot of shots on goal early in the game, and then the Granbury Pirates put the adjustment to it and shut that machine down. Northside just playing with it right here early in the early in the going here, just underway. A header into the box it goes. Weaver will come up. It got free. Northside had an open shot and sent it long. Oh gosh. You know when you're playing the defense like Pirates had the other night. Yeah. You get a chance like that. Oh <laughs> well I mean I'm glad that they did blow it. You got that right. Now, Northside will get the corner kick coming up here. And here it comes. It's a long line drive. It's, oh. And Northside has already got a goal. It was a low line driver. Stay close to the ground. And Northside already pushes it in. Weaver was, Thomas couldn't have got to it. It happened so fast. Northside up one to nothing. And I'm all ready to play the press. It. I, it's, it's too early to be depressed, though. <laughs> Because if you think about it, the guys are starting out, they're playing against some crazy strong wind, and they, they're just getting warmed up. I know it, exactly. Yeah. First two minutes of the game, I know. it was their lucky goal. We got this. I feel like we do. Okay, all right, yeah. I like it. Granberry will put it back into play here, blocked by Northside. Northside will take another run down the field. Over on the far left side, working inside the box. Here's a left footer to put way high into the air. Weaver's got this one. So that's quickly. They are working on Thomas Weaver. From On the opening kickoff, we were able to penetrate down to their box, but we haven't been close since then. Have to get our roster going up in here. For sure. <coughs> a whistle is blown. Granberry will be getting a free kick. About the 45-yard line is where it will be. Jacob Rose will do the honors for the Pirates. Got several things to talk about today. Also, events coming up in the community, and we're going to be able to talk about those here in a little bit on uh, 90.5 FM. Long shot by Rose. It was headed by one of the north side players, and the ball was kicked kind of wildly over on the other side. It's going to go out of bounds, and it will be the north side, and they come up quickly throwing. 
able to keep the ball in bounds. One of the north side players is working some magic down the sideline. Taken over by the Pirates. Sean oh. Gomez. But the, yeah, Sean Gomez. Sean was excited about coming to the game tonight. He, he really was. I talked to him in one of the classes that I had. And, of course, uh, we talked to, uh, you talked to Carnes. And I certainly other guys. did. He said all of the boys are, they're very ready. Yeah. And they're hoping to do, how, like, they're hoping to play how they played against Mansfield. And so far, they're, they're getting there, I think so. They're starting to get more aggressive and, their defense is definitely still there and strong, but we haven't seen as much offense. Not yet. We certainly have it. Northside still working back here around the 40-yard line. They center it. A little run going down the field. They'll pooch it on ahead, try to set it up, but Weaver comes sliding. He lost it, and it looked like he got tackled by one of the Northside players. Thomas is used to that. Oh. He's used to tackles from everywhere, the football and soccer. Weaver puts it back in to play for the Pirates. The first goes to the north side. They'll take it back into Granbury territory. Good job on the push that time by Aguedo, and he's going to be called for the for the penalty, so they'll have a free kick coming. This is going to be about the 27-yard line. They'll back it up to about the 30th, where north side will be kicking it back into play. Yeah, this is not like the other night. If we get the, oh, no. right now, Northside this first half is going into the wind, and here comes the kick. Boy, that went! Look at that wind! What that did to the ball! That <laughs> is <laughs> ridiculous. It started like it was heading towards the goal and took a severe turn to the left, affected by that wind. So that's going to be an issue all night long. Northside throws it back in. It goes out of bounds, and that will be Granberry's. Now, seeing, since, seeing that we don't have any fans on the visitor side, I'm assuming that everyone is. Yes, they are. Okay. Everybody's okay. over here on this side because they got the good seats over oh, here. Oh, yeah. Heck, yes, in fact. Those nice plastic <laughs> seats with the backs and the little armrests. Yeah, in fact, there's uh, some, some of your former teammates that are here tonight. Sarah and Lefty are both here tonight. Oh. Yes. Well. I know. I, I, I saw that. Sarah before the game, and, you know, always good to see her. Pirates keep the ball from going out of bounds, headed on down a little bit closer to Pirate Land, but Northside will clear it on the defense. Good stop that time by the Pirates. That was Campbell. And a whistle was blown. Pirates are going to have another free kick. Now, this is an advantage we need to take up because we got this. We got the wind at our back right now. You yes. have enough force behind it. That thing could sail. Do what? It could sail right into the net. Yeah. That's what I'm thinking. Rose will do the kicking for the Pirates. He puts a long line drive. It goes right to the keeper. It was good placement, though. Yes, it was. Had there not been a keeper, it would have been in. Keeper kicks it high. The wind is holding that up. Taken first by Northside. Goes out of bounds, and that will be Granberry's ball. Back in the play it goes. Northside seems like they have had control of the ball for the first seven minutes of this game. They'll sit it down deep, but it is out of bounds. Granberry will get it back. Looks like our boys are having a bit of a tough time making it down on the north side side yeah, of the are. field tonight. North side gets the ball right back. Line drive put up, but Weaver has got it right in front of the goal. Northside, they're not shy about putting it up, are they? Oh, no. <laughs> That's their fifth shot tonight, and it's only been about eight minutes. Whereas Granberry has about one shot. Pirates Northside. tried to get one, get a little pass action going, but you, and, and the wind is affecting us on the other end of it. That was a trying to get it down to Carnes, and the wind carried it, got away from it. Out of bounds, it goes on Northside's throw in. And the Pirates come up quickly and put the ball back into play. 
far side of the field. A little bit, little bit of a run. That's Dyson. Dyson works it inside the box. Dyson to the middle to Carnes. Carnes miss. Shot put up. Oh, no, uh-huh. Shot put up. It's a go. Pirates have scored. Boy, you talk about never giving up on that bad boy. That was a great finish that time by the Pirates, and that is Bryce Gentry who got the final foot on that one to tie this thing up. I think it was about five attempts on that. That was. We saw Dyson come around the kind of, I want to say the corner. He was coming towards the goal at an awkward angle, and then he passed it off and got a couple of other teammate touches in there to finally get it. The goalie. I thought the goalie had it. I did too. Honestly. He did for just a second, but it was it was an advantage to Grabber because it kind of bounced off of him. And of course, uh, Bryce, the leading scorer on the on the uh, the Pirates this year, he knows how to do it. In fact, the goal the other night, I found out the little roll <laughs> yes. that was Bryce. Oh my yeah. goodness! <laughs> yeah, Bryce snuck that one in, and he snuck another one in. The Pirates have tied this thing up. Well, that changes everything. We've started all over again. 32-minute mark of the Pirates. The Pirates score their uh, their first goal of the evening. We are knotted at one to one. Long shot put up. Granberry was going to kick that one way out of bounds. Take a little bit to get that ball back. I don't know if you guys, have, you might have said, that was driven mm-hmm. down by City Park. There's a lot of construction going on down there. Well, what's happening? I found out. And I talked to uh, uh, to Jerry Husband. She's our uh, assistant city manager. Mm-hmm. Uh, we'll get into it in just a second here. Right in front of the goal, shot oh! there, it hit the goal post and kicked out of bounds. Woo! Watch it, Weaver. That was a quick shot put up by Northside. Wow. <laughs> Shout out to our post for the save of the night so far. Thank you very much. Assist to the post. Pirates will put this back into play now. Good kick all the way down to the 45, but right like that, here comes Northside back with the ball again on the attack. Send it over to the right side to the striker. Pass inside the box. is going to be kicked out of bounds. Good job by Jacob Rose to clear it out. He's got such a powerful kick. He does. No wonder he's a defender. Another quarter kick coming up here for Northside. Here's the kick. Left footer. Header up. Oh. <laughs> Did you see that? I saw that. <laughs> we were oh. just, uh, it was crazy. It hit. The bar again, the side bar, exactly the same spot. And then they had another shot, but Weaver finally fell on it. Oh, yeah. Good grief. Man, that post. <laughs> it's feeling, the, the post is feeling grand buried tonight, I'm saying. <sighs> Fired over to Dyson on the far side. Dyson passes to Carnes and goes back to the middle. Go back to Espinosa. Freddie over to Carnes, trying to get something set up for the Pirates. He'll twist. He's held. Nothing is called. Carnes got two on him. The ball's going to be taken away. What? And it will go to Northside? Or what? No, looks like it's going to Granberry. Oh, we might have a we might have a, a, P, a PK coming up here. We do. We got a penalty coming up. Penalty kick for the Pirates. All right. I, you know, but one guy was just, it looked like he was just growing on cards. Oh, high. yeah. You could see Christian was definitely struggling trying to free himself from that situation, especially because not only did he have one guy holding on to him, but another running right next Rose, to him. Rose, the dice, and kicks it into oh. the middle of the field. It kicks, it hits the official and headed towards the sideline, and it will be, they don't know yet. I think it's Granberry's ball. Yes, it is. It's still the Pirates' ball. We'll throw it back in. Instead of going for the power kick that time, Rosie tried a, a little finesse. It didn't work. Northside in the box will clear it out, and it goes way out of bounds. 
No, but we've got a down by City Park. Out, you might have seen some strike. We've got mm-hmm. a skate park that the city is building. No way. I'm serious. Uh, it's, you know, right. it's a full-blown skate park. It's really cool. And it's supposed to be completed by June the 30th. So Pirates working inside. Carnes had it blocked. The pass over to Gentry. Gentry's going to send it back here. McKenna. Gentry's got the ball back again close to the sideline. He centers it. Campbell is going to be sent way down the field. Sean kicks it back the other way, but we'll have what? We have a free um, kick up for Northside, and all we did was kick the ball back. I'm not quite sure what it exactly just happened, but okay. I'm like, come on, man. R- Refs in soccer don't really use, like, the hand signals. <laughs> Much like football refs do, no. or basketball refs, so it's hard to tell. Long kick for Northside into the box. It's hit by the Pirates first and cleared. Carnes is down there now. Carnes to Dyson. Espinoza. Espinoza sends it and intercepted by Northside. I mean, literally, the kid oh, yeah. reached up with his foot and picked it off. McKenna just shoves down a kid from north side, slides in to try to get the ball back, and we're going to have a free kick coming up for Granberry. I like those returns, those results. Oh, yeah. Rose, again, will do the honors for Granberry. One-to-one is our score. We played 15 minutes here in this game. Long, deep kick from Rose. The header. Oh. And the keeper from Northside will watch it go out of bounds. Good attempt for the Pirates. And they will put it back into play. Ball goes out of bounds off of North Granbury? Okay. Here's the pass quickly. <laughs> Rose will kick it out of bounds so Northside doesn't have an opportunity. they got a quick one over here. He comes up throwing, tries to go inside. The ball is first touched by Granberry. Northside got a little excited, a little ahead of themselves on that. And they'll have to bring it back and try it all over again. Ball is kicked out of bounds by Espinosa. No, but on March the 3rd, the city began construction on that skate park. Uh, it's going to be 5,800 square feet of a concrete skate park. It's being constructed by SBA Skate Parks, and of course, is located. If you go by cross up over by Crossland, that's where it is. Okay. In, the, in that little corner of City Park, uh, and it's going to be. Uh, get back to my notes here. It'll have three lanes, a plaza street terrain, and one encapsulated pool. The park will provide terrain for all skate types of all ages and skill levels. <laughs> Oh. Yeah. Got to be completed by June the 30th. So all you people, all the, I know there's a lot of people that have wanted one. Oh, yeah. But see if Granberry really stepping up and going to build the skate park for them. Gives, gives them a nice, safe, legal place to skate. Exactly. Because I know you see kids skating around in front of stores and stuff, which sometimes is not. Very true. Yeah. I think, you know, if you've got everything over there now, you've got of course, soccer and baseball and basketball courts, volleyball, and now you got a skate park. So what else could you ask for? Plus the Dana Vollmer Swim Center. So that's going to be – that's always incredible. And then didn't they do the groundbreaking on the new YMCA? Yes, they did. That's right. Brand new YMCA is going to be uh, under construction. Long kick that time by Northside goes way out of bounds. Yes, that's true. The the YMCA. Got to throw in the hand motion. Got to throw the hands in the YMCA now. Pirates will put this back into play on the ball that went way out of bounds. Nice header that time by Carnes. Gentry was trying to give chase to that. He got pushed from the back. 
And that's got to be a penalty kick. Oh, from the north side. How in the world? Oh. I don't understand that at okay. all. Um, it looks like the goalie was on the ground, and when Gentry fell, he fell into the goalie and something. Okay. Something soccer Four. rules. It should have been Granberry's free kick. That's why I'm up here in the booth. Back down the other way, north side on a run, but the Pirates will stop that. We seem to have uh, really picked it up defensively for Granberry. North side, it seems that when they were getting the free passes earlier in the contest, they're not getting those because there's a Pirate there to greet them. Oh, yes. Right now we see the guys giving Northside a heck of a time as they try to get down the sideline. Here's a kick down to the box, the far side, the line drive, put across. Oh. It is blocked by the Pirates inside. Nice little spin move that time by Northside. They'll send a long deep one, and right it goes to Thomas Weaver. Weaver kicks it back for the Pirates. Espinoza at midfield gets it down to Gentry. Gentry passes to Carnes, but Northside comes in and knocks it away. But the Pirates come right back up and rip it. Kind of in no man's land for a bit, but Northside has control. Northside down the sideline it goes. Move in. Pirates with a oh. ball. Espinosa felt that he was dealt with, and apparently he was. So the Pirates will kick it from about the 40-yard line here, get the ball back into action on the free kick. I am liking their black jerseys that oh, the Pirates yeah. have on tonight. They look very clean. North side on the kick from Rose comes up with the header first. Pirates will answer with a header right back at him. Ball goes out of bounds. Pirates are wearing the black jerseys, black pants with the white numbers, and North Side is wearing their white jerseys with the uh, maroon colored shorts and the maroon numbers. I thought Granberry was purple and go. Well, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> I believe that they've started to slowly take the gold out of Granberry. Uh, they are because the lake's drying up. Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, yes. We don't need to. <laughs> well, maybe we need to put the goal back. Oh, in oh yeah. So. <laughs> Northside will kick this thing way long and deep, and it'll go right to uh, Weaver down inside the box. Looks like we've got some subs coming in for both teams here from Northside and from Granberry as we are halfway through this first half of play, and we are all back where we started at, except it's one-to-one. But we are tied here in this first half of action of the area playoffs. Espinoza had the ball taken away and cleared by Northside. Northside trying to work down the field. Good defense that time. And a good hand-holding gesture up by, uh, that was by Christian Gamez. He goes over to the Pirates. He got me. Come on, Rip. It worked. Carnes with the ball. Carnes down the field trying to find somebody to pass. He'll take it back to the defense. North side will clear it out of bounds. It'll be the Pirates' ball. North side. We'll take the ball from the Pirates, and they'll start back down the other way here. Long pass. Good defense by Rose. Northside still has it. Pass over to the left this time. Looking to make something happen. There's a lot of black shirts over there for the Pirates. The shot's going to be put up, and Weaver's there to stop it again. That's Northside's eighth shot. Already. Wow. And, of course, Weaver stopped all but one. Good slider that time by Aguedo. 
Northside will have a free kick coming, though, at about the 40-yard line. Just a little poocher over to the right side, down the sideline, looking inside, into the box it goes, trying to set something up for Northside. The part defense was there to stop it. Kick over to the left side of the box. The flag goes up, and it'll go over to Granberry. No, but I, I'm, I'm excited about that. I mean, that just, you know, all that city park, is, you know, it, it just gets, it expands more and more and more. And oh, yeah. The, of course, the, the, the walking trail that goes all the way around that thing with the park, as you can tell mm-hmm. how far you've walked or run, and the hike and bike trail, and now the addition to the skate park, which the skate park will be right along the hike and bike trail. It's just, it's just really a great setup that the city's providing for us. Oh, yeah, it's a great time to be growing up and living in Granbury. Because I know that more recently, actually, these past couple summers, a lot of us volleyball girls have gone down to the sand courts. And oh, we, yeah. We just meet a whole bunch of friends there, and we play for hours oh, until it gets dark. Heck, yeah. Actually, past when it gets dark. But, yeah, that's a, that's a great uh, great facility. I see a lot, of, a lot of volleyball players utilizing that. Of course, the basketball courts are always busy. Oh, yeah. You get all those little pickup games going on. You know it. Yeah, I go I go all the time. No, I don't. <laughs> Pirates putting it back into play here. And it looks like we've got a little change of decision or something. Oh, it looks like you moved too far. Northside comes in and picks it off, but the Pirates take it right back. Long shot put up. Weaver watches it go out of bounds. No problem there. So Weaver will put this back into play for Granberry. After each of the teams scored a goal, Sid, it seems like that we're that we're pretty even up right now. I mean, not, I'm not oh, yeah. sure because of the score, but... Neither team right now has got an advantage. No. And it seems like they're both playing equal time on each other's sides so far. Northside will have a throw in coming. And also another substitute. 15 minutes left here in the opening half of this area playoff game between the Granbury Pirates and the Northside Steers. We are tied at one here on 90.5 FM, the home of Fire Sports. TV, which, by the way, Granberry TV is now officially. Uh oh, look out. Oh, nice oh. stop in there by the Granberry Pirates. The striker from, looked like from Northside had a free shot, but the defender for Pirates just came up and set the dope. But we're on channel 190. You know that? Oh. 190. 190. That's where on K on Charter Cable it's, it's 190. And on. Uh, but on. Uh, Ustream, it is still at uh, Channel 99. Okay. And then, of course, you can catch everything on YouTube. Just go to Granberry TV. Go to the, you know, you go to the Granberry TV website, uh, Facebook site, and, uh, and you can watch. Just type in Granberry TV. I, I just for, just for the heck of it the other day, just <laughs> because you know, well, you know how people's egos are. I typed oh, yeah. in David Uker on search, uh-huh. and it showed all the games. Wow. So. <laughs> You know, I just I just picked one and started listening to the play by play of the uh-huh. game. So that's you know, so they're all over. Uh, you can catch them anytime you want to. Pirates finally getting back towards where they should be down here at Northside's end. Ball's going to go out of bounds, and it will be Granberry quickly coming up and throwing the ball in. Is a Guido whistle blown out of bounds again? It goes to Northside just like that. Northside oh. lost it out of bounds. Good defense by the Pirates. See, the boys starting to get a little bit aggressive and pushy again. Well, that's that's what got them a win the other night. That's true, for sure. true. McKenna comes up throwing. Northside trying to clear it out, and they do. 
Rose fighting the defense. And that ball is sent way deep for north side. Look out here. Far left side. No, oh, great. Just a great little kick in that time by the Pirates. I think that was Espinosa who shut it down. He'll get the ball quickly out to Campbell. Campbell at midfield. Carnes right in the center of the field. He'll send it deep, hoping somebody's down there, but there is no one for the Pirates. One of the things that I was talking with Christian about today in class was how much different it is to play on turf as compared to grass. Okay, all right. And he said that sometimes when it looks like they start to get a little squirrely and overexcited, it's actually the grass or the turf and how the ball travels on it. Okay. So I see. as the guys have had a grass field for forever, yes. and then switching to turf, it's hard for them to adjust to the speed of the ball and the techniques that they could uh, could have used on grass that they can't use on turf. Okay. Yeah, so, fun fact of the evening. Very good. We will mark that one down. That's good information, though, Sid, because, you know, I... Uh, I, we know it's a, we know the turf is a lot faster, but I didn't realize that it had that much of an effect on you know the speed of the ball and some oh, of the yeah. moves they made and everything. Wow. Well, you know, you just anymore you can't hardly go anywhere that doesn't have turf. Anymore. Oh, I know. Which is a beautiful thing yes, because it it's consistent for all the players involved. Well, that's yeah. It's just, it's it is it's has become the norm. Uh, you know, and, and the long run, they do. Oh, here's a nice pass, a long lead pass down to Aguedo. He's on the far side of the box. He's trying to get back in. Good defense by Northside. They took the ball away from him. He didn't have any help down there either, Sid. No. Lone man stranded pulling moves on Northside, and then they steal it back. Then it's, oh, it's back and forth, back and forth. It is. It's back and forth to either side. There's another block by the Pirates. That was McKenna. Northside sending it deep, but it's all black shirts to take that one. Pirates will pick it back into action. It goes, trying to get it down to Wilson. Several Pirates there jumping up, sending it out of bounds. It'll go over to Northside. Yeah, I had, I had talked to Doug last year, and he was not, uh, you, know, of course, you know, he did all of his. They worked all their magic on the grass field, but... Uh, you know, you almost have to, if you've got grass and then you're all, your opponents don't. Oh, yeah. To be it could be a disadvantage. Yes. These other guys have worked on the turf mm-hmm. with all the moves they used to do on grass. They've, uh, they've been able to adapt. And if, if you don't have it, you're behind. Oh, yeah. Another wonderful thing about getting turf in Granberry. Is now we're up to speed with everyone else. You got it. Pirates down on RN. Espinosa will take the ball inside. Goes to Holsey. Pass the ball back along. Would put up for the Granbury Pirates. A reverse that time, but Granbury still, well, lost control. Had oh. control. Got it back. Lost control. Lost the ball. It goes to the north side. And that was really about how it happened. How it happened. Yes. Now north side working down the the near side here of the field. Ball taken away by north side. That's Oscar Gamaz out there. Deep inside the box. Of, oh, Weaver! Weaver, just a big hand up there. Knocked it down. Swatted. Sweet. However, it looks like north side was called on offside prior to taking the shot. But I'm not, I'm not going to take back that. Okay, shoot. That, that, cool that was a good call. <laughs> Great looking play. Right you back. guys will be able to see it on the replay on on channel 190. Uh, I mean, we were just batted it down with that big old hand. I'm thinking it was that hard. That could be. You realize that catch passes from Ryan Sue. You know what they're oh. like coming in here. Yeah. Parts back down on the other end. Going traveling laterally. Northside will get it back. Pirates will get it right back there. Northside takes it back again. They'll send a deep kick. Back down the other end. 
that's going to be uh, Gomez will send that one literally into the stand. It's gone. Looks like that ball's up there to stay. We're going to have to get that one back before we uh, get back into play here. And while they're doing that, of course, they're uh, they're doing some uh, getting some subs brought back in uh, for both sides. And the ball has now made its way back onto the field. Seven minutes left here in the first half. We are tied at one. Granbury and Northside in the area around to the playoffs. Espinoza sends a deep kick down here, trying to get the ball down to Wilson. It's going to go out of bounds, and that will be Granberry's ball. We're going to have a throw in at about the 20, 25-yard line. Coming up quickly will be Colley, and he's going to give it back to McKenna, who will throw it in for the Pirates. McKenna to Gamez. Colley, but the ball's going to be hit by Northside. Missed. McKenna has it. Gamez. Now Espinoza. Now Northside. And a deep one by Northside to clear it out. This game is so back and forth and back and forth. It really is. McKenna sent it to Northside's territory, and just like that, one of the players from Northside sent it to Granberry's territory. Take down oh. by the Pirates. And a free kick is going to be coming up here for north side at about the 33-yard line. Of course, north side is at a disadvantage right now with the wind blowing yeah. into them, especially on a kick like this. They're straight on. The ball is about midfield. In fact, it's blowing on the ground. Here's the kick, just a little lazy kick that tried to hit her. Oh. Weaver goes high and saves another one. I think Thomas Weaver's found the hole. Yes. He has made, so far, eight stops tonight. And I think last game he had, I want to say, about a dozen. Yeah, I think so. <coughs> Ball's going to roll towards the sideline rather slowly. It'll be Granberry's ball. McKenna comes up looking to throw it in. Takes Espinosa to Colley. Out of bounds, it goes back to north side. North side throwing in here. Five minutes left now in the first half. Northside throws in again. Granberry clears it to the north. Northside gets it back. Partially blocked over there by Dyson, and that one is kicked high into the air and way out of bounds, and that will be Northside's ball. So if you guys are out driving around over there by City Park, just go look at one of another, another of the great additions to the complex oh, yeah. over there with that skate park. Skate park being built right now. Go right around the boat, that thing. It's just really about a, uh, about a two, three month project. It's pretty good stuff. It is. I might have to break out my brother's old skateboard <laughs> to go attempt to do something cool. Well, we're going to take a camera. Oh, out. gosh. <laughs> Corner kick coming up for north side. That goes all the way across. Here it comes back the other way across on a kick. A return. Another one the other way. Goes out of bounds. The flag comes up. It'll be Granberry's to put it back into play. They were just playing keep away for a while. They're right in the box. Oh, yeah. Keep it away from Weaver. Yeah. That'd be a good idea. Pirates back into play here. Northside gets it first, knocks it out of bounds. You know, that's 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 one of the amazing things. I guess obviously talks about the athletic ability of Thomas Weaver. Mm -hmm. He's never played soccer. Are you joking? And he decided that, you know, he'd always see it on sports football and, and baseball, but he decided to, to give soccer a go this year. And 
He's found his niche. He's found a home. I, I tell him. But, uh, that's a, of course, his size just and his leaping ability. Of course, another thing that this done is as much as he's improved throughout this year on jumping and leaping and uh, and his speed, that's going to that's, that's going to go to the other side of football. Oh, yeah. But it's going to bring to the table next year for him there, too. Fires with the ball about midfield. And it will be chased out of bounds over on the far side of the field. Down to two minutes and 25 seconds left here in the opening half in a one-to-one tie. North side. Back to the center of the field. They'll try to set something up. Pirates approaching that one right by everyone. Long one put up, a kick, but Granberry heads it out. McKenna with the ball to Gamez, who sends it deep in Pirate territory. The north side gets it right back to the Pirates. A little bit of a run going on here. Gentry overran the ball, trying to get it back. It's kicked oh. out by Northside. McKenna recovers. Pass to Holsey. Here goes ah. Holsey inside the box. Holsey is there, and it goes out of bounds. The keeper got just enough of it. Holsey almost had a breakaway. What a sacrifice by their keeper, though. Did. Throw himself in front of a running guy. Northside just kicks it out of bounds. We are still with a minute to play here in the opening half, and the Pirates still trying to make something happen here before the half ends. Northside will clear it, and they're going to try to make their own magic happen on the other end of the field. Taken down by the Pirates, and we're going to have a stoppage of play as I think we might have an issue in of a yellow card. Oh. Da, da, da. Oh. He got it. He got it. Jacob Rose got himself a yellow as he took down one of the uh, one of the players from north side. Jacob will have to go to the sideline. I, and I talked to Doug about that mm-hmm. uh, also. And he said on the yellow and the red card situation. Now, on the yellow card, Jacob goes out. A sub comes in. Uh-huh. On a red card, the kid has to go out, but there's no one that can come back in for him. Oh. Uh, for a so, little amount of time. I'm not sure on all the time, but that same kid also has to sit out the next game. Okay. But you do get your, your equal amount of players after the game is over. Long shot put up by Northside to try to get something happening. So at least Jacob only got the yellow. Yes. That's a good thing. That kind of – that's almost like a – Power play in hockey. It's it, it exactly the same. It is. Weaver with a high kick in these last few seconds here of the first half. Ball is out of bounds, and I don't think we're going to have much happening between now and then as we're down to five seconds left here in the opening half. Granberry won. Northside won. Bryce Chitry scores the tying goal for the Granberry Pirates. And we are at halftime. Granbury 1, Northside 1. BMY offers all the financial solutions essential to managing your finances. You'll find a unique blend of personal one-on-one service and expert financial advice. The goal at BMY is to ensure that you have a clear understanding of your financial status throughout the year. That's BMY at 1115 Water's Edge Drive. BMY, your partner for financial success. The answer to improved vision is clear. Dr. Cheney, Dr. Yaman, and the professional staff at the Cheney Eye Center can direct you to a clearer vision. See improvements in your daily living with highly qualified service and equipment. Need glasses? Our experts can help you and fit you with a comfortable and affordable pair of lenses with all the latest styles. We are Cheney Eye Center. At Classic Chevrolet, taking care of the customer is their focus. The Classic team is always ready to greet you with a warm smile, whether it be with the used cars, new cars, or with the service department.
That's Classic Chevrolet at 1909 East Highway 377 or on the web at ClassicGranberry.com. Relax and enjoy the difference. With First National Bank of Granbury on your team, it has never been easier to handle your everyday banking needs. We have seven convenient locations throughout Hood County with 24-hour ATM machines at each location. Inside our banks, you will find a friendly, courteous, and knowledgeable staff that has helped First National Bank be voted as Best Bank and Best Mortgage Bank by the Hood County News Readers Poll for three consecutive years. Each location has on-site loan officers that are eager and willing to help you with any of your loan needs from personal loans, auto loans, home equity, and mortgage loans. Member FDIC Equal Housing Lender. What do I want? I want to be seen faster. I want to spend as little time in the waiting room as possible. Less waiting. More taking care of me. At Lake Granberry Medical Center, you'll find the 30 minutes or less ER service pledge. 30 minutes or less? You can even find our average ER wait time online or on your mobile device. Don't wait when you need care fast. Turn to Lake Granberry Medical Center. Learn more at lakegranberrymedicalcenter.com. Mike Brown Ford is locally owned and operated at their beautiful location on Highway 377 in Granbury. They pride themselves in customer service and the built Ford Tough product they represent. With the commitment to excellence motto, they go the extra mile. Mike Brown Ford in Granbury or on the web at MikeBrownAutoGroup.com. I can't. I can't believe that. What? I'm about to graduate. And then I have to, oh my goodness. <laughs> and then reality starts. Sid. You don't wow. <laughs> wow. Yeah. What, the, on the big, and folks, everybody out there listening, on the big scheme of things, high school was such a breeze compared <laughs> to the rest of life. <laughs> Uh, unfortunately for all you high school seniors out there, you think it's going to be a, okay, I'm getting out of the world to go. Why did I want to go? <laughs> Take me back to high school. Yeah, really? <laughs> and some folks never do leave, which uh, I haven't. I got to graduate with my granddaughter, and uh looks like I'm still around. But I'm going to get to graduate with my grandson here. All righty. Because so, he graduates this year, too. But Oh, well, it's just that. Uh, it's where it's what it's what's in your mind. Like my sister asked me when oh. I turned thirty seven. She said, Philo, I said, I'm the same age, just a different number. Oh yeah. So that's that would be me. And most of the people around the community want like, no kid ever grow up. <laughs> <laughs> Parts this time away in the second half will be they'll have that wind at their face. And we have switched over to Valdez here in the uh, in goal here in the second half for Granbury. In the last game, I talked to Doug about this also. Another thing we had an opportunity to talk about was his decision to stay with Weaver. And he felt that, uh, well, in fact, Weaver is back in goal. Mm -hmm. I, get, I don't know. I guess I just read that or something. But it's just, it, it, it's just a sense yeah. that the coach had that there's a confidence back there in Weaver, and so he's just decided to leave him in a go. Oh, yeah, of course, if you get eight stops in the first half like Weaver did, yeah, yeah. you're going to be a little bit confident. So, smart move by coach to keep him in. Keep and there's building another, his confidence. another aspect of the On a run going for north side on the left side, they'll center it wide open was the goal at north side just like the first half. Comes in and scores another goal. I saw that coming, Sid. I, I, I didn't see it coming. I saw it coming. Here we were talking about Weaver. Yeah, <laughs> I know it. Northside. The, the, the quick one, number seven for Northside, over here coming towards down on the left side, kind of angling in. He had an open runner in the middle of the field, passed to him, and it was clear sailing from there. It's two to one Northside. But just like the first half. So here in about five or six minutes, we'll score. Good. Okay. And it looks like we are kind of, nope, I lied. 
north side, <laughs> north side will clear it out. Had a solid advance down the field. Pirates trying to get it kicked down towards north side way. And now it's going down towards Granberry, but the Pirates are going to clear this out. Jacob Rose. Rose past midfield, passing over. It's going to go out of bounds. Still keep it in play. Rose still with the ball again. Cleared by north side, and here goes that pass down to seven again. Ball goes out of bounds. It will still be north side ball. Coming up, throwing quickly. That's how they scored just a second ago. The ball is still free in the box. It goes into the air. North side got a foot back on it, starting their way back. Kick's going to be cut, put up, and it's going to be very wide. You know, when we have the opportunity to have all of our guys down there, mm-hmm. they don't have a chance. No. But when they catch us off guard like they did a yes. ago, we're, <clears throat> we're in trouble. Grantberry kicking it back into play now. Sending it deep. Left side. Shot put up. Oh. And then goal again. North side. Two quick goals. My gosh, that is two goals within three and a half minutes. And it's three to one north side. Dude, we. Oh. Not. Not. Let me tell there you, are no words. These guys, Northside, now Northside was not district champion. Yeah. We played a district champion the other night and beat them two to nothing. Mm-hmm. Northside is quicker than those guys are. They are quicker. They are very quick. Lightning fast. and That, uh, that cost us two quick goals in a row. I mean, we, Thomas didn't even have an opportunity to, to, re, to react to that thing. Oh, no. He, like, I'm sure... You saw the panic like I did. Yeah. That guy came up fast, and he took a shot, and Thomas couldn't get in position quick enough. Well, now three to one, and, of course, you can, you would think it seemed like in a situation like this, most teams will go into a kind of a shut-everything-down mode, but north side, here they come again. Yes. Over to the left side, that's going to go out of bounds. Lost footing trying to get to the ball. That will be Granberry's. Pirates come up throwing. Ball goes to Campbell. Kicked on ahead trying to get it down to a Gentry. And the keeper from north side just comes oh. up and rips it. And kicks it. This is KTRL 90.5 Stevenville. I believe Jacob Rose is just a junior and how much he's contributed to to Pirates football and the Pirates soccer this year, and he's still got another full year left of it. Amazing. Oh, yeah. Quite an athlete. He is. The amazing thing about a, bunch of, a lot of these guys is that they aren't seniors. I know. And so they just get to bring the talent right back to yeah. Granberry next year, which is awesome. First the number seven for Granberry. Where's that? Uh, the captain of the team, it's Mr. Carnes. He's going to be graduating with you. Yes, as well as Sean Gomez. Yeah. Who I believe he's going to play. He's going to continue to play soccer at Ranger College. Oh, really? Cool. That's excellent. Yeah, we've had we've had several that have gone on. Here's a long kick by Northside, but that is way wide. And we're and we're here playing in the second half, and Granberry, as of yet, does not have a shot on goal either. No. See that Northside has eleven shots on goal, and Granberry still has about less than five. Ball is headed out of bounds by Northside. It will be Granberry's about midfield. We're going to have a new edition coming up next week as we'll have a, we've got an unusual schedule next week for Granbury Park softball and baseball because Monday and Tuesday is testing. Oh, That's yes. Cool. So we won't have a game on Tuesday, but we have a game, we have a Park baseball game on Thursday 
right. and a Park, Lady Park softball game on Friday at home. So that's going to work All out right. so well for our listening audience as we'll have two games for you next week on Thursday and Friday. Uh, but we're going to have a little, for the rest of the year at the home games, we're going to have some uh, some pregame activity. Sydney's going to be talking to the softball girls and, uh, mm-hmm. and the coach, and I'm going to be talking to the baseball guys and uh, and their coach, and we'll have a, kind of a kind of a pregame for you all uh, to talk to them and get their feelings on the season and what they think about postseason and all that good stuff. So uh, be sure to join us about 15 minutes early every week, especially next week on Thursday and Friday, for that uh, for all that good pregame action talking to all the folks that make it happen. Looking forward to talking to some softball girls because got it. in my lifetime I've never had much experience with softball. All right. So it'll be a wonderful learning experience. It sure will. Talk to uh, Ashley in class today, also mm-hmm. Macy. Both of them seniors. You told them about it. Woo. Northside kicks it basically the length of the box and it goes out of bounds. And it looks like they're going to be having a corner kick coming up here. Tell you what, Northside has been all over our side of the field oh, yeah. this second half. This is a this is a different team for Northside than we saw in the first mm-hmm. half. It, it, it's been all they've been all out, and they're in no hurry at any time here to get anything done. No, as they switch players to do the corner kick, and that was. Oh happen. yeah. Well, I mean, they have a comfortable lead. Is that legal? A shot. Oh, it was. He took the shot, took the corner kick in. Put a line drive, and Thomas put the put the arms up and blocked it out of the way. It's going to go out of bounds, and that will be right back to north side again. Can we please have the ball down at the other end? Down by our bench, we see Coach Winkleman and one of his smaller children. Yep. With a, with a pretty big hoodie on, and I just saw those little arms flailing and cracked me up. Pirates finally getting it down to the other end, but Northside comes and picks the pass and sends it right back. Ball kicked out of bounds that time. That was Chan, Sean. Chan. <laughs> <laughs> I did get that. Well, you know, we've got a Gomez. We have a Gammy. Yes. So I I said the same thing to Christian today. I was like, Sean, go Gammez, Gammez. <laughs> Ball blocked by Granberry. Northside. They have some ball handling skill. Oh, yeah. That for sure. Pulling fancy little foot moves, rolling over the ball, tiptoeing on top of it. Into the center of the field. Hard defense is there to close that. Granberry, McKenna. Ball will be taken back to Campbell. Stolen by Northside. Oh, I don't. If they give that a call, I, I I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to go down on the field and question that. Oh, are you serious? Doo-doo. We did. I tell you, that was a complete fall. That was a fall. That was, that was a fall. He a natural not, fall. He did not get tripped. No. And they have stopped play. They're going to set up for a free kick at the 30 yard line. I didn't see a card. Now, at least we didn't get a card. Sure. I mean, that, that was straight. A t- that was just a tumbling act by the player. Naturally, when you're running next to someone, though, your oh, foot's yeah. going to catch and you're going to fall. And that was it. what happened. All right, here comes the free kick from the 30 line drive. Right, tall, too tall, and it's no good. It goes through the uprights, but as we turn it in soccer, that doesn't count for three points. Even though, unfortunately, Northside does have three. Yes. That would add an exciting element to soccer, though. We We could uh, start counting field goals. (laughs) (laughs) Now, speaking of uh, things of that nature, I noticed that the NFL is, they're going to try something different on their extra points. I heard that they were debating whether they should keep it or not, but I never heard the final. They're going to try it for a few preseasons. To have okay. the, the extra point from the 20 yard. Okay. 
what does that mean if you want to run for two? Can you get us a habit of three? Hmm. And snap it back and do a quick drop kick. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't know. NFL is doing all sorts of weird things. Yes. Yeah, they're Especially weird. with their rules. Yeah, they really are. I heard they've definitely sissied it up a little. Thank you. I appreciate that because that's true. <laughs> you had you talked to some of the old school players. And oh, that's yeah. what they say. What, this ain't the game I got my head knocked off in. <laughs> oh, yeah. And, of course, with their celebrations, that surprised me. Oh. They tightened up on the celebrations. I know that you can't do any sort of pointing, saluting. Okay, uh, yeah. Any gesture that shows excitement whatsoever. Yeah, and that uh, Jimmy Graham, the tight end of the, of the New Orleans Saints, who always, when he scores a touchdown, he'll dunk the basketball. Oh, yeah. You can't do that. No. And that would be called the Jimmy Graham rule. Just like many years ago, grab the oh, look out north side, way too close for Grand Barry. We finally got a little bit of closeness, but uh, Roy Williams of the Dallas Cowboys, one of his signature tackles, was to grab the beat by the shirt collar and pull him down. Uh huh. They outlawed it. Yeah. So you call that the Roy Williams rule? Oh. Yeah. Football. Yes, it is. Weaver puts this ball back into play as the Pirates the fizzle out that time, basically, by Northside on their drive down the field. Northside will have the ball. They will come up quick, quickly throwing. And do want to remind everybody, I know it's, it's still quite a bit away, but not really in the big scheme of things. The Memorial Day weekend, which, of course, you'll really be looking forward to because that's the end of school for you. Woo. Yeah. Well, it's going to be a great weekend. We're going to have a, a, a very, very good parade this year. It's going to start down at the beach. And uh, my goodness. That was a Dyson kicked that ball over to uh, Mineral Wells, I think. Really? I lost sight of it. Yeah. It's going to be a big three day celebration down in the square as we commemorate. Uh, and remember all of our veterans on Memorial Day. Uh, Going to have a great parade. Gonna start, we said start down at the city beach, come down the square, and uh, going to be involved in that, have a good time for that. So really looking forward to uh, Memorial Day weekend. Grand Barry definitely knows how to celebrate Don't we? those holidays. We do. We do a real good job of it in Grand Barry, you know, honoring those in our country. And we got... Gentry trying to break for Gentry! Yeah! He scores! Goal! Wait a minute. Is it a goal? It should be. We've got a, a time stoppage here, and I don't I'll know if we're we going to have the goal counted. We should. Gentry. Uh, Gentry again. On another one of those little rolly poly balls. A, was, I mean, it was like an empty net goal in soccer because the goalie had come so far out, and we've got a pirate down, literally, all of the field. And and he just and he let it fly from 20, 30 yards out, and it just rolled on in. He didn't even give it much power. No, he didn't. So we, I think we've got a 3-2 to two score right now. But we've got a player down, so we're going to take a Paul... I'd law firm time out and be back. The answer to improved vision is clear. Dr. Cheney, Dr. Yaman, and the professional staff at the Cheney Eye Center can direct you to a clearer vision. See improvements in your daily living with highly qualified service and equipment. Need glasses? Our experts can help you and fit you with a comfortable and affordable pair of lenses with all the latest styles. We are Cheney Eye Center. At Classic Chevrolet, taking care of the customer is their focus. The Classic team is always ready to greet you with a warm smile, whether it be with the used cars, new cars, or with the service department. That's Classic Chevrolet at 1909 East Highway 377 or on the web at ClassicGranberry.com. Relax and enjoy the difference. With First National Bank of Granbury on your team, it has never been easier to handle your everyday banking needs. 
We have seven convenient locations throughout Hood County with 24-hour ATM machines at each location. Inside our banks, you will find a friendly, courteous, and knowledgeable staff that has helped First National Bank be voted as Best Bank and Best Mortgage Bank by the Hood County News Readers Poll for three consecutive years. Each location has on-site loan officers that are eager and willing to help you with any of your loan needs from personal loans, auto loans, home equity, and mortgage loans. Member FDIC Equal Housing Lender. BMY offers all the financial solutions essential to managing your finances. You'll find a unique blend of personal one-on-one -on -one service and expert financial advice. The goal at BMY is to ensure that you have a clear understanding of your financial status throughout the year. That's BMY at 1115 Water's Edge Drive. BMY, your partner for financial success. What do I want? I want to be seen faster. I want to spend as little time in the waiting room as possible. Less waiting. More taking care of me. At Lake Granberry Medical Center, you'll find the 30 minutes or less ER service pledge. 30 minutes or less? You can even find our average ER wait time online or on your mobile device. Don't wait when you need care fast. Turn to Lake Granberry Medical Center. Learn more at lakegranberrymedicalcenter.com. Mike Brown Ford is locally owned and operated at their beautiful location on Highway 377 in Granbury. They pride themselves in customer service and the built Ford Tough product they represent. With the commitment to excellence motto, they go the extra mile. Mike Brown Ford in Granbury or on the web at MikeBrownAutoGroup.com back ladies and gentlemen it was Caleb Wilson for the Granberry Pirates who was injured looked like he was uh, having some lower back problems he slowly walked off on the field on his own power which was a good thing yes but he was down for quite some time north side quickly had a free kick on the other end to no avail as it did go out of bounds and Gentry continues to add to his goal total on the year, he's got both yeah. both of them tonight. He had one the other night, and that one uh, just and is I believe Gentry. I think is he just a sophomore? I want to say he's very young. Yeah, I think he's just I a think sophomore. He is a sophomore. So give me some offense for a few years right there for Mister Gentry. Three to two ball game. We have got new life here in G Town as uh, Northside does continue to have the ball all the time down at our end. But you let your guard down. It's exactly what happened to Northside a second ago. As yes. Gentry is so fast, he was able to come and get the foot on that thing at about the 30-yard line, and it just rolled in. It was hard. It was, he, it was like the goalie hardly contested it. That's, I know. He just came out, okay, I'll grab this ball, but no. <laughs> Little Gentry is too sneaky. Another free kick for Northside. It's going to be cleared out by the Pirates. Dancing around. Pass over left side for north side. They'll kick it to the center of the field. It goes across the box. They still have possession. Ball's going to go still in play. Granberry, two north side players. The Pirates steal it away. All right. Gentry chasing as it goes out of bounds. Twenty-five minutes left here in the game. Northside three, Granbury two. You're listening to ninety point five FM, the home of Pirate Sports. We're serving Granbury, Stephenville, Glenrose, and all surrounding communities. If I'm not mistaken, I think I think we could be heard. And Kevin was telling me I mm -hmm. think we could be heard in nine counties. I think that's uh, wow. I know that's pretty good stuff. We're practically famous. Exactly right, Sid. <laughs> Pirates have gotten to deep in Northside territory, but they cleared it out. And the Pirates are going to kick it out. Running short on water up here in the, uh, 
in the broadcast booth. And I actually believe they found some abandoned drinks in the fridge right behind us. Aha, uh-huh. well, that's a good thing. That, uh, that Whataburger is really work, working on me. Might go right in. <laughs> Northside getting ready to throw the ball back in here as the Pirates did kick it out of bounds. Deep Pirates will touch it first. Ball headed in. Espinosa sends it back to McKenna, who will send it over to the sideline. Can't tell who that is. That's a long way over there, folks. And yes, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for the folks of Weatherford. We do have water in Sydney. Thank you. Oh, there was more than water. There was Mountain Dew, Pepsi, Diet Pepsi, Coke. Wow. Their fridge is stocked. Excellent. And we don't be caffeine this late. No, today. of course not. Well. Thankful for the water. You did. Uh, y'all did. Uh, people your age doesn't matter. Oh, I don't drink soda, though. Oh, you don't drink soda? No. Huh? I'm oh. not into soda. But you could live in Minnesota. Oh, I could live in Minnesota. <laughs> it might be a little cold. A little, yeah. Especially this year. Pirates have the ball back in their territory. Northside clears it and sends it out of bounds. It will still be our ball. Pirates moving a little quicker. We've still got 22 minutes left here in the contest, but you don't want to let the, the time slide by. That's Christian Gamez with the ball. Now, he'll send it to Carnes. Uh, it looked like Carnes and number seven were like holding. He's like, he had a hold of his hand. Would you do not? No, I don't want to. No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Ask that's Carnes about that next time I said, but that guy's trying to hold your hand, man. Pirates about midfield. We've got an opportunity right here, cleared momentarily by Northside. Ball taken back. It's Rose. will send a long kick. The keeper's got it. Now, that was a little bit of an attack mode that time by the Pirate offense, first we've seen since the first half. Mm-hmm. That was actually one of the first shots of the half. And that puts Granbury up with six shots so far in the game. Out of bounds it goes. It will be Pirates' ball. Down deep and out of bounds, and it will go to Northside. I can hear the fans out there. Oh, yeah. The old famous Let's Go Pirates. Classic. The classic, yes. Looks like we have a pretty good... Student section from Granbury. Yeah, I was noticing that. City, you're saying that. Look at the kids. There's a bunch of kids down there. I see uh, uh, Karis Beasley down there. It looks like Brianna Crane. The Brawner boys are there and several others. That's good stuff. Oh, yeah. And, of course, the trusty parents are there. Oh, yeah. You know, Pirates with a steal that time, but not able to keep possession of the ball. Christian Carnes with a ripoff that time, and he was. Trying to pass the ball and got too much of it, and it went over to the left and out of bounds. Northside will come back with it. Pirates with another takeaway that time. That was Rose, but Northside will clear it out. Sit down deep. Dyson on the right side. Dyson towards the box, kicks it in, and it goes out of bounds, and it will go over to Northside. Now you talk about now that's it, that's that's pretty impressive with the now I know you will uh, not seeing Sydney on the volleyball court next week is next next year's that's yeah. going to be hard to do but you consider that two all staters coming back to one team Karis Beasley and, oh, yeah. and Aubrey Zell are you serious I mean my gosh that's going to be unbelievable and looking forward to having some records broken early on in season oh, from so. Brianna Crane. Yeah, and well, Aubrey just she just keeps on oh. taking the records. I think she has the other ones. Oh yeah. Yeah, Brianna's going to break some records. Pirates on a run. Nice move. The shot put up. Oh. Just barely blocked, and the keeper got it. That was an absolutely spectacular move that time by Halsey. 
the Pirate offense is really beginning to pick up, and here comes Northside all the way back down to the other end. But the ball was stolen by Espinosa, but Northside will take it back. They move into the box. Ball is going to be put up, but Weaver is there for that one. Weave the beef coming out for his 10th grab. Nice, excellent. All right, see it coming with the nickname. Ball put back into play. Pirates will be able to come and take the ball away, and then it's taken right back away by Northside. A whistle is blown. Uh, no, it's not. Play on. That's what oh. he said. Pirates on a run. Kicked over to Espinosa at midfield. He'll sit oh. it down towards the box, and the keeper from Northside comes up and stops it. As you can tell, Sydney's getting into this now. That that could have been awesome. It could have been. He just chipped it right over the Northside guys but unfortunately the goalie ran out and grabbed it. Rose with a clearance shot that time. Pirates right back down the wall, kick, but it's going to be taken by Northside. It'll go towards the sideline and out of bounds, but it'll be Northside's ball? Um, I understand that call. Now we have the flag holding over your head call. Looks like a pause in the game. Flag I'm not sure. <laughs> okay, we're now sitting there. We're both taking a little drink right there, and nothing happened during that time. So oh, no. We're back into play now. The ball goes back out of bounds, and this will go back over to Grand Ray. Just another 30 yards back down the other way. 17 minutes remaining here in the game. Granberry trailing 3-2 to two here over the north side steers. In beautiful downtown Weatherford we are. Mm-hmm. At the revamped Rue Stadium. With a very nice press box. Yeah, it is. They've, uh, they've done upgrades, as they said, in Matrix. They've done a really good upgrade. They've got the, they've got the, uh, the high-dollar seats down here in the reserve section. It's a very nice home section. It's the, the visitor side is actually smaller than ours. It looks pretty small. Yeah. Looking down the field is Jacob. Down to north side, one of the guys will head it. There's a combination there of pirate steer. Whistle is blown, and Northside will have a free kick. That's It's in our territory, but uh, Northside will be putting the ball back down the other way. The wind is still at their back here in this second half. Fifteen minutes and 30 seconds left in the ball game. Hearts down by one. Okay, go ahead. Uh, I know. I'm waiting. <laughs> There's the kick. Long kick. You can definitely tell the wind ate at that thing. Weaver coming up quickly with the ball that's retrieved back there. Because, uh, you know, right now, Northside is in a take as much time as you can, though. Pirates oh, are yeah. beginning to hurry up and feel a little more aggression and uh, offense here. The good thing that we're seeing with the Pirates that we didn't see against Mansfield was their sense of urgency. Yeah, yeah. Oh. I mean, I guess we didn't have to see it against Mansfield, but. Very true. Pirates are, you can tell that they're definitely trying to push the ball down on north side. side. And every and, and, and we're getting more aggressive, and therefore we're getting three kicks like this at oh, the 42-yard yeah. line. They've had two in a row. And it's like Doug said the other day. Uh, when I talked to him about it, he said that, that's part of the deal is you play mm-hmm. aggressive, and you're going to get these calls. You're going to get yellow cards, and that's uh, they got three of them the other day. Like they beat, also beat Mansfield uh, Lakers three to one in yellow cards too. Wow. Two to nothing in those, three to one in yellow cards. Down to Weaver, ball is headed back towards the other way. Here's a shot that went wide. No threat that time to Thomas. 
and Granberry will come up kicking. Line drive. Northside has it momentarily. The Pirates get it. Oh. Lost it. Northside takes it towards the sideline. That was out of bounds, but it was not called. There's some real fighting for the ball right here. And another free kick is going to be coming up for Northside. Problem is, Sid, they mm -hmm. get closer and closer and closer to the goal yeah. on their free kicks. And now they have the win on their side, so I feel like, don't they? Does the win look yes, like? Yes, they definitely okay. do, without a doubt. Okay. I'm trying to use my visual cues as to where, which way the wind is blowing. Right. I usually look at the flag. Okay. But, yeah, that helps. I was trying to look for a trees or something, but when you have four flags on Here's each the corner. Kick. The header in. Weaver's there to stop it. Thomas kicks the ball back to play. Met it midfield by several. Far side kick down deep for the Pirates, but north side is there to stop it. Holsey trying to get it to Carnes, blocked by north side. North side gets it again, and they'll send it on farther down the field. To the center of the field goes north side. The kick is put up. It's going to be too wide. Ooh. Yeah. Well, we were panicking a little. Yeah, he got some motor on that time, didn't he? Oh, yeah. He looks like he was going to be ready to die for the ball, but luckily it was wide and to the right. Kick by the Pirates, put it back in. The play goes all the way down to Carnes, but he was not able to get to it. There's a kick that is deep. Holsey's going to try to get to it. Northside will kick it out of bounds just to save it. Pirates from getting a breakaway. We've got the ball at the 25, come up throwing to Carnes, and Northside will clear it, but it goes to the Pirates, but then right to Northside. Ball kicked on deep. Northside controlling. On the left side of the box, they're going to put the shot up. Weaver ah. reaches for it. It's cleared. Weaver got it again. Oh, oh man. <laughs> Thomas reached for the ball that time that bounced off of his hands. And fortunately, he was able to reach out and grab it, finish it off, because there was a Northside player going for the ball. Out of bounds, it goes off of the Pirates. And Northside will have it 11 minutes and 20 seconds left in the game. 3-2, Northside in the lead. Got the Pirates throwing the ball in at the 50. Cleared out by Northside. Right to the Pirates and then right back to Northside. Back and forth and back and forth. Sent deep. On the run. Northside, the shot put up. Weaver's there and he stops another one. Thomas sends this one long and line drive. First touch by Northside. Gamez, it was taken away, and now Northside has another shot at it. Over to the side, and it's sent back. Left side is the ball that's out of bounds. Granberry's ball. That flop didn't work. That's no. good. <laughs> that was a flop and stay. What is this? Oh, look out here. Number five for... Uh, Northside was ready to uh, go into a little fisticuffs there with uh, Mr. Holsey. And that, I mean, that was, that was a takedown, a tackle, and I'm going to get in your face kind of yeah. thing. Yeah. Now we're looking at the ref talking. Talking to the coach about something. I don't know, I don't know what. But. That was Collie over there, number six. But we are back in play. Off a of dice, and it goes out of bounds. Ball touched by Grantberry. Jacob with the ball. Rose, pass oh. along. Here's a bit of a run, Gentry. Gentry breaks it outside. He'll pass to Dyson, who's moving down the field. 
it was taken away by Northside, and they start there, move right back up, and the Pirates come in with a pick. Gentry tried to get through two. He couldn't do it. Did it just, does it seem like to you that every call is going against uh, Granberry and Fort Northside? It Side? certainly does. Uh, that looked like Gentry was kind of tackled again. Yes. But, uh, another free kick coming up for Northside. 8.45 left in the game. Time is fleeting on the Pirates here. We can see the Pirates starting to get Northside's head a little bit. I They're trying we're to. Seeing, <laughs> oh, yeah, we're seeing the aggression in Northside come out. Oh! oh. oh. <laughs> that was just oh. a tacky little play, but very well deserved. It's one of the Pirates was going uh, to hand the ball to the Northside player and then just drop it. So. <laughs> that... That's some good passive aggressive. Uh, I'm telling you. In the we're in the Granberry end. Northside whistle is finally blown, and it will be the Pirates' ball to kick back into play. Sent towards the sideline and way out on that. That was kind of a wasted kick and wasting time because on those kick outs like that, the clock does not oh, yeah. stop. Was it Jacob that kicked it? Yeah. In his defense, though, the wind is. Well, it did. It blew it. It blew it quite right away from him. Long kick down to Gentry. That ball's going to be kicked towards the sideline, way the heck out of bounds. And a north side player is squirming on the field. And let's see if we've got some kind of a penalty coming up here. I hope not. Time is stopped. The ball is still in play. No, it's not. An injured player, so we will stop the clock with 7 minutes and 18 seconds left of the game. Pirates are trailing 3-2. to two. We'll take a Hyde Law Firm timeout and be back for the finish. Granberry Sports is proudly sponsored by Cheney Eye Center. Cheney Eye Center offers services using state-of-the-art equipment and traditional values. They can be reached at 817-573-7153, and they are located at 223 South Morgan Street in Granbury. You can also find them online at ChaneyEyeCenter.com. That's C-H-E-Y-N-E Center.com. Granberry Pirates Sports is brought to you in part by Lake Granberry Medical Center, where you'll find the 30-minute or less ER pledge. You can find the average wait time online or on your mobile device. Don't wait when you need care fast. Learn more at LakeGranberryMedicalCenter.com or call 817-573-2273. That's 817-573-2273. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Pirates throwing the ball in from the side, and we will have the, another opportunity to do that. As we're back into play, the young man from Northside was just cramping up. They were stretching him out there on the field. Northside will clear it way out. And the ball is headed out of bounds, and Northside will have a throw in. Pirates now going to get the ball that they kick out of ball out of bounds and hand it to the uh, Northside players because we've just got 642 left. Rose, it's off of one of the north side players, so that will be our ball, actually. Pirates with the throw in. Again, that's throwing it in for the Pirates. Tried to get it down to Carnes. It goes off of north side. Smart tactic by the Pirates to... Trying to throw every ball in as quickly as it can. You got that right. Northside takes it, kicks it out of bounds again, I think. No, that's going to be off of Granberry. Not a good time for the Pirates to lose possession down here on Northside's end. On our end, excuse me. And the ball just rolling everywhere. Granberry's hustling to get that ball in, and Northside's just taking their speed time. That was Carnes going over there, roll behind the north side bench. Yeah, don't worry about it. 
uh, right in the middle of the field. There's going to be a shot put up, and that was a wind situation right there. That ball went way wide and high. 5.20 left in the game. Already up and moving into action here. North side clearing it right out, though. We're just not able to get anything happening down on our end right now, Sid. No. The D- Ooh. Rose now looking for Carnes. He'll send the pass down to Carnes. Oh. Christian still has it at the middle of the field. Northside slides in, but the ball is taken away by Granberry. Northside taken away on a roll, and a free kick coming up for the Pirates. I uh, will take it. That was Campbell down there who got tumbled over, so we're going to have a free kick at about the 20-yard line. All right, still setting up for the kick. This is almost at the center of the field right here. Dyson will do the kicking for the Pirates. There's two north side players in front of him. Here comes the kick by Dyson, headed right towards the goal, oh. and the wind or something, but it went wide left. What is this, Florida State? Four minutes left in the game. Pirates with a great opportunity right there and didn't make much of it. Northside kicking it all the way down, but the Pirates will have the ball first. But then Northside gets it right back. Pirates take the ball away. Northside takes it right back. Seeing that urgency from the Pirates. And every time they touch the ball, it's... In the Shot put up. Another goal ball. for Northside. But will this count? Will this count? One of the players from Northside was down on the field right by the official. And the official was looking at it. He was cramping up is what happened. Will they count this goal? Uh, let's I mean, make we have a yellow card. On who? North side, I believe. Well, how do you get a car, a yellow card and an injured player and you still get to count the goal? I'm not sure. I, I have no idea. Because what I was doing, I was on that sit, I was watching this play, and this kid mm-hmm. ran, just really just kind of ran up and fell over. Yeah. And then he's grabbing his leg, and the official, the head official, is right there on the right there standing by him to check on him. And here down on the other end, we see Northside score this goal out of nowhere, and the official not paying attention. So, give me—I I need some explaining here. I, I can't <laughs> explain it. I'm not even quite sure what happened myself. I was just looking, and I saw a guy yeah. on ground. Yeah. Getting close to the goal, guy on ground, random score. Yeah. Not quite sure what exactly. Well, they're good. They're good. They are counting this goal. Uh, all right, then. Now, I've seen some weird th- I haven't seen anything that weird in soccer before. Okay, it's 4-2 to two with 325 left here in the contest. Granberry back into play here. This is not good. Definitely a sticky situation. For it the sure is. Especially with calls not exactly coming our way. No, they they, they are not. And I'm going to have to go have a little discussion with Mr. Kissinger, even regardless of the outcome of this game, to see if he can give me some explanation about that oh, yeah. goal that was just scored by Northside. Because to me, it looked like play had basically been stopped. Mm hmm. But to no avail as we're down to 2 minutes and 45 seconds and the Pirates are trailing 4-2. to two. We do have a free kick coming up here at the 20-22 yard line for the Pirates. Sometime soon. This is not the time to be giving lectures to the players. No. Come on, man. Let them play. The kick, line drive, just no. wide of the goal. We've had two of those close ones like that, and both of them have been wide left. This really is turning into Florida State. Y'all don't realize this. 
symbolism is of Florida State and wide left? I'm missing it many, a little. Many times, many years, Florida State would always play Miami, and they would get, and they think they were going to win the game. They would be, I don't know, think of three or four years in a row, they could kick the field goal to win the game, and they kicked it wide left. Uh, so it just became nothing. That, that Fires way good. down deep. The ball is still free in the box. The keeper will take it and shut down that threat by the Pirates. We'll have a Ooh. corner kick coming up. All right. 137 left. Pirates are going to have to do this quick. They're already up in the play. It's headed out. Cards in the box. He'll put the ball. No, he won't. The ball oh. is cleared back out by Northside. Nothing called. Ball kicked towards the sideline. Northside will keep possession of it. And Only they're going to work their way down. Minimal defense just now. Of course, we've got all our guys back there now. Northside, it is oh. a breakaway one-on-one. -on -one. Another goal for Northside. We have a man down. Another goal for Northside it is. When they're a fast one at number seven, we don't have a roster for Northside. When he gets the ball and he's one-on-one -on -one with any keeper, oh, yeah. he, scored, he scored two of those like that tonight. He is a heck of a player. Pirates now down five to two with with one minute left. Well, this is going to be a tough comeback here, Sid. Oh. <laughs> Add trick in the, in the last minute. Of yeah. Are you exciting? There would be an aggressive pirate takedown. Pirates come up throwing regardless of where they call it. Oh. It's going to be the pirates' ball. Northside touches it first. Well, it is an it's it's an amazing phenomenon, Sid. How uh, you you have a school like Northside, uh -huh. who in the majority of their sports cannot compete. Yes. And you get up here when they play soccer, they're it just it's mind boggling yeah. what they can do with how well they play soccer. They did this to us, I think it was either three or four years ago. They knocked us out of the playoffs. Here they go again. And they they were quicker. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Their defense was better, mm -hmm. and that's just that's been the name of this game. Well, you hear the countdown going on right now, folks. That's going to be the end of the Pirates' season as Granbury falls here in the area playoffs to Northside Steers by the score of five to two. 